what's up you guys so i was supposed to be make this video but i didn't make this video and i'm gonna try to like quickly do this video because i am doing i'm i'm cooking dinner and i want to you know hurry up and get it out the way but um this is just for the people that always make an assumption this is a disclaimer for you guys please don't go to my husband and tell my husband that i'm put a post up there about what he did to me and he almost killed me or whatever y'all saying to him that is not true so please stop making these assumptions please because that's not true that's not true what y'all going back telling him and don't tell him what i should or shouldn't do i don't really care what y'all think i should or shouldn't do which i need to start probably giving five percent of a fuck for what y'all say because of my children the sake of my children future but please stop going and telling him what i should or shouldn't do you do not know what i'm doing you don't know what my reasons for doing what i'm doing so don't go to him telling him some bs okay and that's what i want to say about that so what I put on Facebook was basically like a sum of how I felt at that present time. Sometimes I do go on there and post on Facebook how I feel sometimes. Now, the reason for what I am doing is because there are more people out there in the world that are parents, that have children, that suffer with a mental illness. And I was just the person that finally said I'm going to speak out on my page. So I spoke out on me and how I felt at that present time. 2009 was when I was diagnosed with depression. That's when I found out I had depression because of a suicidal attempt that I tried to do on myself. I mean, well, basically, duh. So, um, everything that since then, I have not been feeling like myself. I have felt lost. And... That's because I basically shut myself away from the world and doing anything that I want to do, you know. So what I mean by that is that I box myself in. I'm, I stay home when people want to go out or do things and want to enjoy me. I say no, I'll stay home. I don't feel like going. Basically, I don't do all the things that I love to do. I have been stopped doing all the things that I love to do ever since 2009 so I have to find myself because I don't want to no longer feel lost I no longer want to feel like I don't know who I am or don't have any idea of what I want to be a lot of assumptions that's made about mental health people is the reason why a lot of people don't come out and say what they have or they'll say like no like everybody now is using the, the depression word a lot and some people may have that symptom or may suffer with that mental illness but a lot of people use that word loosely you know so i just hope that a lot of people just find some sense of respect for the fact that there are people out here that's actually really suffering from depression and other mental illnesses as well. Um, by me now being an advocate for mental illness is the reason why I'm starting to speak out now on my personal page. Because I want to make my family and friends aware of what I am going through and what is going on in my life. I want to speak out basically and as being an advocate is me voicing and telling you guys my story you know um with, with what i'm going through does not change how i feel about myself and where i want to go in life i still have dreams and goals that i plan on obtaining in in you know my lifetime while i'm here god let me see many more years but it's a lot of assumptions that's made about us and the reason why people don't speak out about it. Now, me telling you guys that on Facebook wasn't so you guys could feel sorry for me. But it was, it was just for me to really open up and let you guys know that I, I don't really feel like myself. And sometimes I do post pictures and stuff like that because 
it's basically me distracting myself from how I really feel. Like once I, I'm, when I'm doing other things, like being a mother and all that stuff, it's like me taking away from myself. A lot of times I don't pour into myself, I don't take care of myself, and I don't do the things that I'm supposed to do. And nine times out of ten when y'all see me dressed up and looking nice is because I decided to get up that day and go ahead and fix myself up, make myself look pretty so that I can feel good about myself. And I do feel good about myself when I do these things. I don't have to do these things. I don't have to put on makeup. I don't have to dress up or nothing like that but I do these things because I do feel good about these things that I do for myself because this is what I take pride in I take pride in you know making myself up and making myself presentable to the world instead of looking raggedy you know y'all y'all I mean half of my family really friends that's close to me know how I used to dress I didn't care about how I looked I dressed any type of way, pregnant and all, didn't really care about my appearance. And that was never me. In school, I always dressed. You know, my mother is, my adopted mother and my birth mother, they're dressing queens. They keep themselves on point. Like, you will never catch them stepping wrong. They always step with looking the best that they can look you know so that was like a point in time in my life where I just kind of like been putting myself on the back burner like didn't care about myself now I'm just kind of trying to like find myself again find out who I am and where I'm going you know and and really like being confident in decisions that I make like my decisions that I make sometimes isn't always right and I shouldn't make those decisions but I do but I just, in all actuality, like, when I'm, when I'm doing these things, whenever I'm making a decision to do whatever it is I'm doing, whether I just decide to drive to the beach or go eat a burger or visit friends, I'm, I'm making this, this decision based off of myself and saying, okay, I'm going to go do these things. I'm going to just go ahead and do these things because... I really don't be wanting to do these things. I just push myself out there to do these things. Um, Y'all know I love to do hair. And I'm really like messed up in the market area because I don't, I really like don't want to talk to people. And why I don't want to talk to people that I have to figure that out, but I just, I just don't care to like really put myself out there because I feel like I have when I, when I open up to people I feel like people let me down so I really don't really like talking to people face to face social media I could do that but like face to face is kind of hard for me and I have to kind of get past myself and my thoughts to really like open myself up to communicating with people more so Depression has been a challenge for me in some ways where like sometimes I have sleepless nights and really this corona thing has really like helped me be more peaceful and more calm because I don't have to worry about waking up super early to get my kids ready for school. That was stressful for me because I had sleepless nights. Nights where I could not go to sleep, you know? And that's often, a lot often. Um, I have days where when I do get up and get my kids ready for school and stuff and get them off to school, I would just come back home and just sleep until they get out of school. And instead of having a productive day I would just sleep and sometimes it was like when I was working I just you know I would try to call out sometimes because I didn't want to be bothered or I didn't want to go be around people you know so it's like the challenges of getting up the challenges of 
put in your mind that you're gonna do it's not something you want it's not something that you you tell yourself oh I don't want to I don't I don't want to get up today I don't want to do nothing today it's just like the, your body makes you feel that way and you try to alter your mind from thinking okay I'm gonna do I'm gonna have a positive day I'm gonna but sometimes it's hard to freaking fight that stuff it's really really hard to freaking fight it you know like nobody wants to say oh i'm depressed i'm depressed i'm depressed or i have a mental illness nobody wants to say that nobody no nobody wants to speak out about that nobody wants to really claim that it's just something that people have and they deal with that stuff you know so i do my best you know my successful days are when i do get up and i get dressed and i get ready and i, and I work out and i cook breakfast for my kids and um now that at home you know that really this since this covid stuff been going on i have been having a lot more successful moments than trying times to be honest i've been fluctuating with my emotions and stuff like that but then you know throughout the day i start to feel a little bit better i start to do a little bit more and I start to enjoy my day so you know I this is something that I've been dealing with and I just wanted to speak out about it and I will be speaking out about it a little bit more I'm also transitioning my YouTube channel to be more on the basis of mental illness and awareness and some of the things that's going on to give you guys a little bit more information on mental illness and what my story is and just to be honest and open with you guys so you can understand where I am coming from so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys really about is that yes my my name is Ebony and I I have depression but I am I am a mother I am a wife I am a sister an aunt a niece a cousin I am an employee um I'm also a worker of myself um i have things that i love i have goals that i want to achieve and i got you know i'm inspired a lot each and every day i'm a normal person i just have a mental illness that does not have me so i look like your average everyday american black female but i just you know i don't wear my illness on my shoulders I also have asthma. I had asthma since the day I've been born. But you see me still moving, doing what I want to do, running, um, exercising, even though sometimes it's a struggle. But as long as I do what I'm supposed to do, I am able to be a normal person. So having an illness or having something that is a part of your life does not stop you from being a normal person. It does not make me psychotic or like crazy or off because I have a mental illness and those are some of the judgments and some of the misformed information that people tend to put on people with mental illness but no I am normal I am quite smart for you know for who I am and I just want to say it like that and um i live a pretty normal life and a blessed one at that and that's what i want to say because i'm so sick and tired of people judging and assuming and putting all these false accusations out there so i am correcting people on who i am and what is going on and basically speaking out about the false information that is said so if you would like to hear more about my story or you would like to hear more information just about me speaking out about mental illness mainly depression that's the main one i mean that's the only thing that i have as far as mental health but if you would like to hear more information and i will be speaking about other stuff as well go ahead and subscribe to ebony share tv 
um i also will be posting my vlogs too so it's going to be a mixture of different things so it's not just all about one thing so you can actually look inside of get an inside view of my life not everything but some things about my life and how i live and how i go about things in my life and y'all can actually see it without without me always having a um video that i post and edit for you guys to get informed so go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell and just stay tuned and look forward to me ebony sharing with you guys my mental illness story and bringing you guys awareness and education on mental health until next video i'll catch y'all guys later